Yo, welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I kind of want to just make it quick. I kind of just want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about some important things regarding top step funded accounts, going for funded accounts in general, trading combines, FTMO, Forex, prop firms, and all of that stuff. So I'm going to sit down, talk to you guys, make it a quick video on my thoughts on the trading combine itself, how I passed, any tips and tricks for you guys to pass. Um, it's been a ride, you know, going through these challenges, doing forex and passing, and now doing top step and futures and passing. So, you know, I'm just grateful to be here, and I, you know, I'm excited to tell you guys, you know, the things that I learned within this, you know, this challenge. Because even four years in, I'm still learning things. So, let's get it. So, as you guys obviously see, I did pass the top step funded challenge. I'm gonna put up right here, right? And it was one of the best things I've done because. I, you know, when I moved to Florida four months ago, I also transitioned to futures and I got away from Forex. I got away from something that I was so comfortable with. And a lot of you guys are actually going through that same thing. I don't know why I'm holding this controller. A lot of you guys are actually going through that same thing, right? A lot of you guys have seen what's happened with FTML, have seen what's happened with my Forex funds, True Forex fund, Defunded Trader, and all of these Forex prop firms, right? So a lot of you guys are doing what I did and you guys are also going to Futures prop firms, which I strongly recommend. It was the best decision I made. By the way, I've been playing a lot of soccer. Comment Messi or Ronaldo, Neymar, baby. And if it's not Neymar, then it's Ronaldo. So anyways, right, what I really want to get into is, you know, some of the things that I learned throughout this challenge, right, and some of the things I learned from going from futures to Forex. So one of the things that I love about futures, and it was one of the big key things when I transitioned, is price action, right? And I'm not gonna, I'm going to talk about the more emotional, psychological stuff, because that's what's really more important. You know, I'm not going to talk about trading skill set, because that's just varies to vary. That just varies within the person, right? You can't really do much, but you can give tips on the psychological aspect of trading something different. So again, with you know, to talk about the technical side of these tips, right? When you're wrong in futures, you know you're wrong. But when you know you're right, you know you're right. The market is to me more volatile in a sense that it, it it's more direct, right? If price is gonna be volatile on NQ or ES or YM, like price is going to go your way or if you're wrong the other way it's not going to do what i always hated that forex pairs does especially gold and i used to trade gold you would get such a consolidation you know the craziest stop hunts liquidity being formed everywhere and there's no for me there's no sense of drawing liquidity there you know when you're on a trade on gj when you're on a trade on gu it can consolidate for so long before actually moving right as opposed to nqes futures you know it's gonna move and it's gonna move in your direction right now don't get me wrong it consolidates for sure but not for long that's what i realized that futures is so much more clean apart from that in the technical side right let's go to the emotional side okay and from the emotional side of futures you know there are a couple of things i really want to you know break down for you guys is one is have patience. This challenge right here, I passed with small wins that equal to big weeks, right? Small wins equals big weeks. I found myself not going for four R, five R, six R. It was two R's and out, right? I was making like 350, 400 dollars profit. I would risk like 250, 200, right? Being very conservative. So yes, it's smaller profits on a day-to-day -day basis, but at the end of the week, it's such a big gain, right? You make 250, 300, 300 300 four days out of the five you're over a, a, a grand right and it may not seem in the it much from you know from you know as opposed to forex where you know you're seeing higher higher percentages right but when it comes to futures you know that's something that i kind of based you know i kind of had like a model for myself right oh, i kind of had like a model for myself right like small wins equals big small days equals big weeks and that was really key and this challenge for me was built on that i wasn't aiming for home runs i had one trade that was like 700 dollars, my biggest win on the challenge but generally speaking you know the smaller wins and compounding those wins really led to big weeks really, really led to building the actual something else that i really wanted to talk about right in terms of patience and discipline right it's something that i always preach but i kind of wanted to give a little more specific detail which was my small days, big weeks, right? Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes we'll have a bigger day. Sometimes maybe you should aim for a bigger day, right? Maybe your targets are at certain levels that you know are gonna get hit, and that's fine. But I really hope you guys take something from what I just said, because, you know, it might feel like it's slow, which it did, but it didn't feel like that when you actually end up passing, you know? One of the other things I really wanted to get into, right? One of the other things I really wanted to get into was was learning liquidity okay now listen 
I have learned ICT concepts and since I've had, I've been profitable, especially in the futures realm. I now teach it and I always recommend it to people. You can trade however you want now. I don't really care, right? You can trade however you want, but I'll tell you what, if your trading strategy doesn't have the concept and understanding of liquidity, I think you need to sit down and I think you need to master it. And again, this this is only for people who aren't profitable yet, who aren't passing these combines. But trade how you trade, but add the concept of liquidities to however you're trading. And I promise you, it'll be the biggest game changer ever. When you learn liquidity and what it does, what it is, why the market seeks it, why we trade based soft it, you'll understand the market, you understand where the market's gonna go, you understand why. And that's the biggest thing is why the market moves. I used to think and I used to trade based off just technicals and based off just you know what I learned, meaning, oh, price breaks above support and resistance, gonna retest it, and then you're long. That's not why, right? That's not a reason why the market's moving. I think you have to have a deeper knowledge in trading to really make it far in the long term, right? I think you really need to, I think you really need to sit there and be like, why do things like this happen in the market, right? If you want to be a professional trader, you should think like professional trading. You should know why professional traders trade. People on Wall Street, institutions, hedge funds, banks, they know why the market's moving. And if you think you're trading because the support and resistance is going to push it towards your way, I'm telling you, you're wrong. Really, you hope that to take that into consideration, have an open mind, just go do a little bit of research, just go study a little bit on liquidity if you haven't. Reach out to me. I put a trading form for you to understand what I do and what I teach. You can always email me and I'll email you back. Even if it's not with anything to inquire about, I can always help everybody out and I always do. But I'm telling you, it was such a game changer. I really understood liquidity. And kind of the, you know, I can't really say much because a lot of it is really just skill, right? A lot of it is really just the skill set that you possess and the emotions that you're able to keep under control. And that's kind of the last thing I'm going to be talking about is the emotion, right? Take your time. There's literally no rush. And if, from my perspective, if you, you know, you should have something outside of trading that kind of holds you down, right? I lose still. And when I lose, I generally get upset, right? It's, you know, you, the first thing you're doing in the morning is trading and then you lose, right? I see this all the time. People's, people's salaries, you know, you know, some people, someone has a, you know, as a nurse goes and has a bad day, she's getting paid the same. We have a bad day, we don't. So it bothers me still. I don't care what anybody says, it bothers me still. So holding those emotions under control are sometimes still so hard. So what really helps is having something else that helps me, right? Another income, no matter how much it, whether it be. I have my girlfriend, you know, I work out and I love to work out. I've been playing soccer and pickleball a lot, right? Have something outside of trading that's gonna make trading easier, right? Whether it be financially, emotionally, even if you're someone who's right on the brink, you know, you're trading, even if you're someone who is a profitable, you know, you know, ha give yourself that backbone, right? Go get a part-time job, go work out, go sign up to a gym, go, go put some stability and balance with trading. If I didn't work out or make money any other way and my income was in my income and my daily routine was just trade and then just chill, I'd go crazy. I, I would be mourning my losses as if someone died. I'd be, you know, because I still get like that. And I'll tell you guys straight up, I, I don't care. These traders can act like they don't get phased. I, I'm not gonna act like that because I do. I get so upset when I lose. When I lose, I'm like, bro, it could have been a this, it could have been a that, it could have been this type of day, this type of day. But, you know, I literally sit there, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go work out. Oh, you wanna go hang out? Oh, you wanna go play pickleball? You go, and then it's like, oh, all right, you come back to the charts later, and then you're chilling. This video out, and really just talk to you guys about, you know, the training combine, passing any really prop firms and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm really sorry that this is kind of a dry video. There's not much content, trading content, vlog content, but I think this is still important content. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are ready for my next video on Friday, which is actually going to be breaking down the markets. I'm actually going to be giving a liquidity lesson because I think it's going to help. I'll see you guys later. Dude.